season five of Fargo returns to FX to the stars of the new season, Joe Keery and Richard Morjani here to chat all about it. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much. Joe, let's go ahead and start with you. You play the son of John Hamm's character. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect from Gator. Well, um, that was kind of what I was most excited about with this role is um, to work with John and to have that relationship. And it's kind of so fundamental to the character. And he's trying to make his father proud. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a real joy to also just be able to watch John and kind of everybody's got a different process, you know, yeah. and to kind of be a witness to how he does things was excellent and a real, I mean, it was like a, the best acting class I've ever taken. So yeah, it was fantastic. And uh, he's just a really nice guy. And yeah, it was, it was great. It, it was great. Uh, Richard, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about you are a police deputy. Uh, you're very practical, but you're married to somebody kind of the, complete opposite of that tell us a little bit about that dynamic because so many people can relate uh to your character yeah you know <laughs> it was a, a grueling relationship to um i guess play but also it's it's realistic and it's, it's very relatable you know i think i know so many women in my life who i'm very close with who either were or are in relationships where you know the woman herself is seemingly strong and independent and smart. And you would just expect them to be with somebody supportive and um, in alignment with that. But sometimes they end up with these deadbeat loser partners. <laughs> and, um, you know, there's many reasons for that, which I won't get into. But I think that it, what I was so happy about was getting to explore the personal life of um, Indira and to get to see her outside of just being a cop because sometimes when you have these cop characters all you really see them is doing their policing work and so I think that getting to see her dealing with her financial debt and her husband uh, was something that made the character so so fully fleshed out and so mm -hmm. fun to play. Joe let's talk a little bit about your time here in Chicago uh, you went to DePaul you got to play Lollapalooza last year I mean, let's. I mean, even Lollapalooza. Let's talk a little bit about not only coming back to visit, but playing such a big platform uh, in the city. Yeah, it was insane. Very, very surreal, crazy moment that still to this day I kind of forget that I even was so lucky to be able to do something like that. <laughs> Love Chicago, um, miss Chicago a lot, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it's just you know a part of my life, and yeah, love it. And hopefully, have a chance to visit here during the uh, during the holidays. It's a lot of fun here. Definitely. <laughs> Richard, you want to explain a little bit about season five and you know where the premise and where we start uh, in yeah. Fargo? Oh, the premise of the season? Of the season, yeah. Yeah, um, sure. Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, to talk about it. There's <laughs> a lot going on. <laughs> okay. yeah, where, do teaser, even, yeah. <laughs> where do I even start? I like to say that for me, I think that, uh, and actually even what Noah told me was that this season is going back home, going back to the movie except making it totally relevant and timely and with a completely fresh perspective, taking a lot of the characters and giving them a new, um, just a whole new dimension. And uh, this, this installment follows Dot, played by the incredible Juno Temple, um, who is kidnapped, escapes from her kidnappers, and that sets off a chain of very bizarre events that brings in all of our very bizarre characters. Mm. And Joe, you know, we're saying hello to, to Fargo for you, but we're also saying goodbye to, to Stranger Things. As you're getting yeah. ready to film season five, I mean, what are the emotions like for you, especially knowing this show means so much to so many people and the cast, you know, we've grown up with them. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it means a lot to me, obviously. It's been a massive part of my life. So, yeah, it's, uh, it, I guess it's very bittersweet and something that I'm really looking forward to. And everything, I guess, has to come to an end. So it'll be... Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting started and um, we'll see what's in store down there. <laughs> well, we cannot wait for season five of Fargo coming to us on FX starting November 21st. Uh, Joe, reach out. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank, Thank you, Rudy. You. Thank you.